go. Hey everybody, we're back. So uh, I'm sitting here doodling. I uh, huh. our computers are really acting whacked out. So um, we're not going to be able to animate today for some reason. We've got something that's drawing a lot of memory, and we can't figure it out what it is right now. And so we're going to just turn it into a request day today. So I was just sitting here drawing, doodling. Um, uh, let's just turn it into whatever you guys want me to draw or paint. And I'm going to do that today. So um, I hope you guys have had a great weekend, first of all. We had a really fun time. Uh, had family over, all that good stuff. But um, let's, uh, let's do some digital painting. I always love doing uh, request day anyway because you, I just... I like, the, I like the idea of sitting down and not knowing what I'm going to create, and two hours later we've got something that's kind of fun. So, uh, are we getting anything? Yep, we got a monkey king, we got a Siberian tiger, let's draw a moose cop, uh, a monkey king, a kakapo, 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 kakapo. Um, a, <laughs> of a nice vampire. <laughs> monkey king, I really like that, because I'd like to do something... Without doing, I, I want to do it something just out of my head. I know the Monkey King is an Asian story, but I, I'd like to do something that, like, w w the first thing that pops into my head. I'd love to see you draw Sun Wukong, aka the Monkey King. Yeah, so I, let me, okay, I want to do the Monkey King. A, I want to do a Monkey King. Not the Monkey King. I just want to do what pops into my head if, when, I, when I hear the word Monkey King. I want to draw it now. Monkey King it is. I really like that idea. <laughs> I'm just going to start scribbling because I, I've got, right off the bat I've got ideas. And I love the shape of a, a, a of an ape's face. And I know it's a monkey not an ape but I just want to, I'm just going to scribble for a little bit and see, because I've got some ideas. Have you ever drawn a Tibetan sand fox? I have not. A DJ sloth, <laughs> <laughs> a ninja octopus, <laughs> eagle dragon fusion. I want I want this to be something kind of fantasy, something different. You know. I'm guessing he will draw a gorilla king. The Gorilla King is kind of cool. I like that idea. But I want... I just want something... I, I'm thinking about, like, dramatic lighting. So I want, I want to, I've got a lot of energy in, in that idea right now. I just want to get it down. Looks like Snow Bear wasn't in the mood to be in between today. <laughs> no. Oh, there we go. I got the idea now. Got it. You had a goal to figure right. Without him looking cross-eyed. Without him looking cross-eyed? Or with him looking cross-eyed? No, he was looking a little cross-eyed there. I don't want him to look cross eyed. Uh -huh. Anthony on YouTube asks, I know you're no longer animating this stream, but can you explain any solid techniques for animating eye darts to make the character feel more engaged in conversation? You know, it's that's a that's a good question, first of all. Um, eye darts are hard to do. It's it's it, you have to have they're so random and they can be they can come off as really really feeling uh, contrived. Um, 
you know, you got to make sure you're, you're going on ones. You're working, you're you're working them on ones. Sorry, hold on. I'm trying to get this this drawing down. Got this idea. I look like you're giving him a nice big beard. But um, but the uh, it's really you know make them really random and very small. They're just tiny little movements. That's the other thing. You don't want to move them too much. They're such tiny, tiny, super subtle little movements. Something here. Big earrings. I want I want like a big like a big robe kind of feel, you know? I think I want to do something different with the face. I want them to be looking over to the right so I can cock his eyebrows just a little differently there there we go just gives him a little more personality he's feeling a little evil I don't know if I want him evil feeling Feel mischievous. 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 Yes. Twitch comment. How about a modernized Monkey King, like a modern interpretation of him? That's interesting. I'm not sure what a modern interpretation of a Monkey King would be. I'm just doing this out of my head. I should. I'm just going to challenge myself to do this Monkey or ape out of my head. So whenever I think of a quote unquote modern king, I'm thinking of somebody in a suit but with wearing a crown. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> That's not bad. Should give him a dead eye scar, so it looks like he had he had to fight for the title of king. I like that idea. I'm just trying a little upshot. I wanted to see what this might look like. Twitch question, what softness and hardness of pencil do you recommend for traditional animation on paper? I recommend the 2D, uh, 2, 2D, 2B or, or 3B pencil. So what I'm doing here, oh, there's something here that I kind of like. Something else, bro. I can imagine a monocle for some reason. Make him look like Don Rickles. Just really getting screwed. I want to get really crazy with this. Steve, an evil monkey that lives in my closet? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we turned the evil monkey that lives in your closet as a king. I want a nice silhouette coming off of that face right over here. I want see here. I 
I like this idea. I've, I've always wanted to draw a Monkey King. I never have, so this is kind of fun. Could you try to make him uh, based off of a snow monkey? Uh, yeah. That would be a lot more fluff. So fluffy. Mm. Not liking this beard under the chin. I want to get something like that. See? I like that negative space. So I like it better than that one. So I'm going to keep that. This has got more more personality. Any ideas for the next course? Yeah, I'm going to be doing a Bird of Prey course. Right now we got Tim Hodge, who's we've just released Tim Hodge's new course on drawing cartoon animals for you younger artists out there or beginning artists. It's really cool. It's a great, great course. So I'm going to bring that muzzle even out further. Actually, let me do this. I want to get just the right attitude, just the right... There we go. Oh yeah, that's better. Did you have any plans to come to Me Mexico? Yes, at some we've been to Mexico. Uh, we're just not sure when we're going to get back there again. YouTube question, Aaron, have you ever seen the documentary The Sweatbox about the making of the Emperor's New Groove? What are your thoughts? Oh yeah, I've 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 lived that world, and yes, I did see it, and it was I thought it was great. And uh, Sting, I don't think Sting knew what he was getting into. But, you know, our films, making our films, it's all about change, you know, and making it better. And, 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 and we go through a lot of those changes to do it. And uh, you can see what I'm doing now on a very micro scale of that. That's what we do in, uh, let me bring this around. It's what we do, you know, when we're making our films. And um, it's hard. It's, it's, you know, that process can be really hard. Uh, start again. I love this idea though. I love this Monkey King idea. Thinking about There's a documentary I'm making of the Emperor's New Groove? Yeah. With a bunch of question marks and exclamation points. It's called the sweat box. Still trying to get the posture down? Uh-huh. I don't, I don't stop until I've got it right just the way I like it. There's something here that I'm liking as well. What do you think? Maybe tilt the crown a little bit, like he's like, oh, fuck. Kind of reminds me of um, when God, what, what was the what was that one King's 
name for Lord of the Rings, though. King of Rohan, when he was, when his mind was, was gone, like, he looked old and, like, all gray, grayed out, just looked sickening. Oh, yeah. With, the, that's kind of the posture that I'm getting with, with that, or from that sketch. Theoden, that's what it was. Thank you, Nolan. King Theoden. I like this one. This one, there's something about this one that I'm enjoying. So we had a quotation for, for this sketch. Bro, I'm straight. I'm not having a good time. The Monkey King says. <laughs> so the other thing I like to do is kind of. Just rotate it. Tell me else, bro. I can picture him holding a royal staff in both hands. This is very Pope like. Samuel asks, is it bad to be dissatisfied with a finished piece of art because of the I can do better feeling and not liking it as much as yours? As much or as much as much anymore? Uh, no, you should always you should always feel like you can do better. I mean i I'm always, you know, thinking the same thing. You know, I can it's not bad at all. So here, I want to get this arm coming out this way. There we go. See that? Don't be afraid to do bad drawings. I do bad drawings all the time. Don't be afraid to do bad, crummy drawings. And I want this to be all drapey. Trying to get a good silhouette. Get those shoulders up high. I'll twist them just a bit. Make them a little larger. I'm gonna let that crown maybe go off the screen. Somebody wrote this is almost Shakespearean. If I do this, to which question, out of curiosity, can an architect, what about, can an architect somehow find a way to contribute to the animation process or get involved in the industry? Absolutely, we had uh, we had quite a few ex architects um, on our on our crew our, on a lot of our shows because they they were designing you know some of the buildings and whatnot what not what not so what I want to do is I want to add to the canvas size so I'm going to go to the canvas size and I'm going to uh, grow it 24 there we go that feels better Now the composition feels right. And I'm going to have him sink into darkness in here. So now let's refine this drawing a little bit. Now that I'm getting kind of excited about this. Twitch question. Oh, I already read that. Okay, so let's just refine this a bit. I'll probably end up refining this a couple of times. Oops. There we go. I 
you're trying to find the idea you like, should you identify the species of monkey this is, and is he good or evil? No, I'm going. Well, I'm I'm thinking he's kind of mad. He's a like a mad king, and I'm not. I'm just making it up. I I wanted to challenge myself to just make make up a monkey creature. Let's say. What would you wish to see more of in art? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I'd like to, well, I don't know. Wow. Um, discipline? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'd say, I, that, let me think on that, because that's a, that's a really good question. So I want to make sure that I'm not homogenizing him too much. I want to look at something really quick. Don't like that nose. Gorilla. I want to look at a, a gorilla. Oh, no, actually a uh, uh, macaque. When you draw, did you see all the details in your mind, or you just go with your feelings? I have a I have a gesture in my in my head, and then I go with that. Oh, see, a macaque is a little different. Well, I like that. I'll show you real quick, folks. Right here. So here, oops. I want to get something like that. I think I'm going to try. If I just put, the, what do I just do? How do I get rid of that? <laughs> Hello, come back. <laughs> come back. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little combination of kind of the robust nose right here. I'm gonna draw underneath first. This is kind of fun. Oh, I gotta go back to Nick. Hold on, Nick. Yeah, this is better. <clears throat> I like this a lot better. Question, are there specific animals uh, a somewhat newer artist should start with since the proportions are similar to other animals you would or recommend practicing all of them? Um, well, I, I recommend practicing all of them, but um, start with animals you're familiar with. You know, that's, that's a great place to start. Somebody recommends you should make them blind with one, in, in one eye. Well, let's do it with this eye then. Which had a small eye? Yeah. There you go. There we go. It's kind of cloudy. <laughs> He's angry because all of his servants keep dying from his poison to gourmet banana meals. <laughs> <laughs> There, I like this nose a lot better. 
See, one little bit of research, even though I wanted to just try to make it up, it always pays off. Do your research. Have you heard of the Black Sad graphic novels? I have not. There are pieces by... I'm going to butcher this name, I know it. <laughs> Juanjo? Juanjo Guarnido? Who apparently worked for Disney. Juanjo? Juan? Juanjo? Juan? 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 J U A N J O. Quang. There we go. Quang. Now I got a face I like. Finally got there. Took a little while. <laughs> They're gonna give him a golden tooth. I don't think that's a bit much. There. Besides, I don't think he's gonna be showing his teeth. I have a little bit of hair off of his brow going over the crown. Now, are you going to make the crown out of natural materials like like wood and leaves, or is it going to be? I thought like it would royal be gold. The gold. Why is someone else thinking differently? No, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking the natural wood. What do you think? I was thinking the natural wood. To me, it's like he's found, it's like a human object. Uh, there. He looks like he needs a piece of straw or a stick or twig hanging from his mouth. We might do that. See, once again, I never would have thought of doing the Monkey King today. And here we are having fun, or at least I am. That means I'm going to rotate it around again. Sorry, I missed a... I don't know if that was a new question or not, Nick. I missed it. I was busy drawing. There we go. Get that knee. Get that ear knee. Did you hear me say that? Huh? Get that knee. Get that knee. Take a knee. There. Were you ever inclined in studying something like biology or zoology? As it seems that you have a great passion for animals and anatomy. Uh, as I approach the end of my graphic design studies, I wonder if I should have enrolled in marine biology. Yeah, you know, I've always... I mean, to me, it's more of a, a self-interest. So I like to do it on my own. Um, it, I definitely could have done something in that field, for sure. I just never did. So I'm liking him. I'm liking him the other way. Although everything looks good. That's right. So yeah. he's fading into darkness. But the old master's look would be accompanied by a deep brown gold. For the crown? YouTube question. Any advice on how much time to spend per portrait? I see. I sp is speed important at all? No. What's, what's most important? The most important thing about any piece of art is the quality of the art. Let the art take as much time as it needs to take. It's not the quality, it's the quantity. Yeah. yeah, it's not the quality, it's the quantity. No, but really, I mean, you gotta... <laughs> don't worry about how much time it's taking you. It's like, I need a character design of this one character. I'll, I'll give you a couple, couple of months. Here's a great character. All right, I need a character design for a character. I need it within a day. Here's a stick figure. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube comment, a crushed human skull in his hand would be amazing. How about a scar over the blind eye? 
cool well, ideas. I had a re recommendation like that earlier. Uh, like a, almost like a battle scar fighting that he fought uh, for that throne. So I'm just refining. I'm going to keep this rather loose, so I'm not going to worry about a lot of this stuff in here. What is your favorite flying animal to draw? I love birds of prey. Any specific kind? No. Well, um, like vulture, bald eagle. No, I love eagles. Um, osprey. Ospreys are cool. And it took plenty of. Dan on YouTube asked. I recently had to do a monkey king, and it was very hard. Could you quickly demonstrate how you would give him 10 to 20% more human-like features if it doesn't take much time? Thanks. Well, for me, I mean, he's already got human-like features. I'm just pushing things a little bit. So, and here I'm just adding little things for the crown. Little designs. But it's, it's, um... I mean, it's it's really just take imagine a blend between the the rhesus monkey or macaque and and a human, and and it's to me it's fine, you know it's literally doing that it's blending those two together. So I'm just creating false or fake suggested detail that's not really there. You can see I'm just doing these little squiggly lines. Have you ever seen the movie Help! I'm a fish! No. <laughs> Help! I'm a fish! It's funny though. So I'm just quickly trying to get this drawn. Just making up this crown as we go. I'm liking this guy though, this is fun. Looks a little like Monkey Dracula. I kind of like that idea. Ooh, Monkey Dracula. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. <laughs> I don't say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> that was that. Is that Adam Sandler? Yeah, Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Did you watch uh, Father of the Pride, a, the DreamWork anima animation series? I did not. I did not. I did say. not. So there we go. There's our monkey king. I kind of, I'm kind of digging him a little bit. You like him? Yeah, I'm liking it. I like those, uh, the hooked designs of the uh, the top of the crown. Oh yeah, those are fine. I just squiggle and then repeat it. All you have to do is repeat it, and then it looks like you meant to do it. Yeah, it looked like uh, claws. There, now I want these folds all to feel right. It's going to get really dark down in there, so I'm just going to roughly indicate. Rough indications. Rough indications. Indication. See, it put me back. See, remember how bad of a mood I was in? Remember yeah. that? Just a little while ago? Oh, yeah. Now I got. Now it's all going my way. I'm in a better mood now. Yay! He's happy. I'm happy when every when I get my way. So happy! Oh my god! You sound like uh, <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias or, or oh Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah, you see his Sir, new show. You need to keep the voice down. <laughs> you got a new I, show. I haven't on watched Netflix. the show yet, but I'm I'm really tempted to watch it. We watched some of it last night. Was it good? Eh, it's a little lame. Hmm? It's a little lame. Little lame, little corny. 
Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's sitcom writing. It's, it's sitcom, yeah. Yeah, it's in front of a studio audience kind of, of writing. Of course. We just had a power surge rebooting, so I won't be posting any comments for a bit. That's from Nick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> All right, so we've got the drawing. I'm, I'm noodling and noodling and noodling and noodling some more. Dunstan, <laughs> you would like Father of the Pride. I'll check it out. Dunstan. Dunstan. Clean up some of this. Here. Here. Although I'm going to keep some of it because it has a lot of life to it. As far as that, talk about the bird prey mentioning Ospreys. I took that one picture of uh, the Osprey uh, during that boat trip. Yes, sir. And he said you wanted to make an oil painting out of it, right? You want to make that as part of the oil painting course that we have planned in the future? Maybe. Right? That's a good idea. I like it. So that way you can paint paint that up, uh, that photo, and at the same time turn it into the, into the future lesson. Bam! Bam! So right now I'm just throwing in local color. I'm, gonna, I'm going very loose. What's your advice for generally getting at making imaginary lighting? Imaginary lighting has to come from um, at least knowing real lighting. And and to do that, you've got to really draw from life. You got to you got to study it. You got to emulate it. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm very loosely just throwing in where I think the color should go. Is he going to be wearing some uh, rings as they were a sign of uh, status and power in the old history? Rings? Rings. Like rings on fingers? Well, if we see his fingers, I'm not sure we're going to see his fingers yet. Yeah, they look pretty covered from all that fur in the robe. It all depends. It all depends on how he feels. And also the angle of the shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I watched The Shining for the first time today. The Shining... You know, I moly. still have not seen that movie. You haven't? No. It's a gooder. Now, now have you seen the um, trailer for the sequel coming up? The I just the I saw it without the sound, so I didn't really see it. Oh. I like how for the the sequel they when they reveal the title, it brings back the old shining theme song. Ooh. I thought that was really cool. And I gotta say, I loved the way they recreated The Shining in um, uh, Player One. The sets and all that that they were able to make in that. Uh huh. It was one of those like, okay, is this a, is this a real set or is this like just totally real life? World? Is this real life? <laughs> Yeah. So I'm just running through and just putting color in right now. His facial expression is similar to some of Jack Nicholson's in The Shining. Oh, it kind of is, isn't it? Recently, you mentioned that you joined the gym. How often is that, or how often is that going? And how many days per week are you going? Well, we're we're attempting to go uh, five days a week, with 
three days of strength training, which would be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, with two days of cardio, which is the way I've always done it for the last 30 years. And, um, or actually more than that, 35 years. But, um, we've missed a couple of days because I went out painting. I've got a lot on my plate, so i got to try to work it. So now I'm going to go a little darker. Sorry, Rob. Purple robes, I bet. I was going, well, close. I was going to Lizard Crimson. And I honestly think the, um, the two green uh, jewels on the sides. Yeah. I think this should be uh, rubies. Oh, yeah? My, my personal opinion. Okay. I can do that. Cause, Instead of emeralds? Yeah, because normally on, on crowns, it's it was always uh, sapphires and sapphires and rubies. You rarely, rarely ever see uh, emeralds. Wow. Okay. Just saying. I didn't know that. Or at least all the crown designs I've, I've seen. So I'm keeping it loose as a goose. Loosey goosey, baby. Loosey goosey. A while ago, you announced that you were going to illustrate the new Lion King picture book for the up and coming movie. Oh. I ordered it. From... Nope. Nope. I didn't do it. You didn't do it? No. Anyway, finish the question. Um, I ordered it from Amazon, telling me it was illustrated by Aaron Blaze, but when it arrived, it was illustrated by uh, Therese Larson. Exactly. Nicely illustrated, but felt disappointed. What happened? I ended up backing out of the deal because they ended up changing. The, when I first got the job, it was I was going to be illustrating the actual story of The Lion King, but then by the time um, the job was ready to go... What we had agreed upon was different. They they actually turned it into kind of a little, a younger reader version, and it was just a little adventure of Simba in the forest with um, Timon and Pumbaa trying to catch a bug, and it was more of a children's book kind of reader thing, and um, so it was a little bit not it was not it was different than the style than what I had anticipated. So we both agreed to uh, walk away. So that's what I did. Question, is there a way for me to rotate the canvas in Photoshop while you're drawing? I use a Wacom Intuos Pro. Yes. Press R. Watch this. I just pressed R. Rotate. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go green like he's in the jungle. In the background here. Don't worry, I'm going to fix those, those, those emeralds. I'm surprised you have a soft side for the new Lion King movie. Why are you surprised? I've got a soft side for everything. No, I, I, um, I'm really excited to see it. I think it's going to be great. I'm a big John Favreau fan. I think he's an awesome director. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez. I'm afraid to look at the camera. Jeez. <laughs> What just, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, you blacked out for a minute there. <laughs> wow, that was a that was a good one. Whew. A lot bigger than one of mine. Mine goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're getting there. Larry on YouTube says, watching your channel has been an inspiration to start sketching again. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so for saying so, Larry. All right. Wow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was a little snotty. All right. Let's a see. Little... Uh, let me get a little ruby red. <laughs> that was a bear sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that. It goes good with the with the robe. Uh, wow, that was a good sneeze. <laughs> Even the Monkey King is like, really, Aaron? <laughs> it was. Uh, have you ever worked in the past with French animators who studied at the French school? Uh, Goblin, do you know the school? Yes, I know the school. 
Uh, I don't know if I've worked anybody that went with anybody that went there. I, I'm not sure. They've never mentioned it. Many people picture the Disney live action remakes as a spit in the face for animators who worked on them on them in the past. But why is that? A, okay, why is that a spit in the face? Ex please explain to me why. I'm just the messenger. I, no, I understand, <laughs> but I want I want to know how that. In my mind, having been one of the people that worked on it, to me it's an honor. I don't know why it's a why it's a spit in the face. Maybe it's because. The live action will eventually overshadow the the animated the originals of of these films. Uh, I call horse pucky. Hi, Aaron. A uh, YouTube question. Hi, Aaron. Is your charcoal course on your website for beginners? Um, I'd say it's intermediate, but I think beginners can use it. How's that for a dodgy answer? So I'm really going in very quickly and just once again this is all local color. When working on reference uh, pages and such for characters that uh, for characters, what expressions do you think are needed the most f uh, from them? Say that again? Uh, when working on reference pages and such for characters, what expressions do you think are needed the most from them? For reference pages? I think on reference pages you need to have all your basic expressions. So for me it's, you know, anger, uh, happiness, sadness. sadness, all of those. See, this in the foreground, it's all going to be dark, dark, dark. We're going to have a little strip of light going across. So I'm going to really play up my, my typical lighting that I do. Well, Taylor writes, he, uh, the Monkey King, he kind of looks like Tim Roth's character from Planet of the Apes with Mark Wahlberg. Oh, he does, kind of. I didn't even think of that. Damn them all to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Nick says, bold declaration here, but I highly doubt that the live action films will ever supplant the animated films in the mind of the public. The reality of the live action is that while they are popular, popular, you have, uh, you, I have yet, live action is that while they are popular, to see the kids watching them over and over like they do with animation, yeah, you won't see them watching them over and over again, like we used to do, like the kids used to do. Like those kids used to do back in the day. So I'm just trying to get a little bit extra color back here. There. Let's get let's get some light and shadow in. I gotta jump on that. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a layer on top, setting it to multiply, and I want to go in with a nice I don't know if I want to go with a cool shadow or warm shadow. I'm going to go with gray, blue gray. And let's uh, let the games begin here. Let's see. Jan Kassen writes, hi Aaron, awesome job by the way. Uh, do you feel that there should be a copyright slash trademark class for artists to teach them how to protect their work from being stolen? No. No, I, I don't think people's work is stolen as, as often as uh, a lot of people think. And trust me, there's a lot of people that get afraid the work is going to be stolen that have should not have any fear of their work being stolen. To me, it's a, it's kind of a, yeah, it's a young artist fear, I think. Now, it, I mean, the, the copyright laws are pretty simple and straightforward. And, um, you know, it's not, you know, people get all freaked out about, you know, I'm not going to post anything because Facebook owns it. Then, that's not true. You know, you can you're going to the odds of Facebook stealing your work and doing anything with it are super low. Um, I do think people should get in on a 
business of art course that to me is really important um, but I really don't think people's art is stolen nearly as often it is taken sometimes I mean I, mean, I get stuff pirated but it's it's not anything that's ever in such a degree that it's stealing it's taking you know food out of my mouth or money out of my uh, you know checking account twitch comment I think the main reason people get upset with Disney live action is because Disney shut down the 2d production and now they're investing a lot of money on the live action remakes actually that's a really excellent point here, here. I, I like that point, actually. What was the point I again? can see that. Well, people are, are you know, Disney shut down the the, uh, the 2D, and now they're going and remaking all the 2D movies in the live action and cashing uh, in on it, and that's why people are getting upset. This is a person's opinion. Right. Which I think is a really valid opinion. I think that's really good. Yeah. Makes sense. Niles on YouTube asks, big question, what's the difference between a 15 field and a 16 field animation disc and which one do you use? I use a 16 field. And I've never used a 15 field or to be honest with you, even heard of a 15 field. Um, you might be thinking of a 12 field, which is just the size of the paper difference. We always use 12 field. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, 16 field, but we I did start out a little bit uh, with some of the uh, early shots that I did early in my career, 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 you know, career, career, with 12 field. Have you seen Toy Story 4 yet? I have not. I I do want to see it. I, I really love the Toy Story story, the Toy Story movies and the saga. But I have to admit, I'm just kind of over Toy Story at this point. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love the characters. I love them. And this one's got Keanu Reeves. But it's been, you know, almost, well, what, 25 years? Yeah, first toy, toy Story was 95. That's right, 95. 1995. So, we've got this. We're starting to get a nice little purr, purr. Now, what I want to do is I want to create the big shadow. <laughs> Nick says the difference between 16 and 15 field is clearly one field. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> uh, how was your traveling to Moscow? Oh, it was great. It was really great, actually. First of all, I got to hang out with my good friend Barry Cook and Max Howard and Tim Hodge. Um, they were awesome. And, um, and and then go to a city that I'd never been to before. And it was cool because um, I didn't know what I, to expect in Moscow. I don't know. I just, I just didn't know what to expect. And... Uh, it was nothing like I expected. It was beautiful. Well, first of all, I knew it would be beautiful. But I, for some reason, I didn't expect it to be as modern as it was. And it was just beautiful and clean. And uh, the culture is amazing. Food. The food was awesome. So a lot of things I didn't expect. At the risk of sounding ignorant. So here I'm putting this big shadow going across them. Have you ever met or worked with uh, Steve Rab Rabatich? Let me see where. Rab Rabatich? R A B A T I C H. Uh, no. I 
I've never a YouTube question. I've never seen any of the Toy Story movies. Are the are they the ones you recommend? <laughs> yes. So does the rest of the world. I'm just putting him a little bit in shadow. I'm going to clean this up in just a second. I want that light coming from... a better shadow. So you can be really loose. Don't don't get caught up in really noodly habits. Be loose when you uh, get started on a new project, on a new image. Don't be afraid to just throw it down, baby. Just throw it down. YouTube question, YouTube question. What's your opinion on the Disney movies with the scratchy line art, like Arista Cuts, for example? I love it. Matter of fact, uh, uh, Snow Bear, the, the eight-minute cartoon or short that we are creating, is going to be just that. I See, I like it because it embraces the art form, hand-drawn animation. And, you know, hand-drawn is just that. It's made by hand. And so, in my mind... It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't mean with meaning. I think it is perfect, even with the scratchy line, because that that is the medium, and I like that. I really do. And actually, for the um, it's a this is my personal question. Uh, during the time, like I know they had the um, they had a lot of the recycled animations yeah, for like Robin Hood and Aristocats. We we see all those happen in all those films. Yeah. But because like the way that they were. Like, like the way the lines were like like you just mentioned yeah was it because were, were they like that because they didn't have that many cleanup artists back then well it's not just that cleanup is the most expensive department it's the, it, it takes the longest to sit down and clean those drawings up and clean them up and clean them up and uh, and so as a result you end up spend that's where you spend most of your money and you know, sometimes you want to get more bang for your buck in story or for in layout or whatever it might be. And so they're always trying to find different ways of trying to curtail that budget and cleanup. And so one of the ways was just having a rougher line. So they just didn't worry too much about the clean the cleanups at that time. Well, like I said, I, and I'm the same way, just embrace the medium. Let it be rough. It's okay, you know. It's a, to me, it's the it's same okay. as it it's the same as you know when when they start doing impressionistic paintings. It's okay to to just have an impression of it. And it's, for me, it's the same with with you know animation. What do you think about Don Bluth and his movies? I love Don Bluth and his movies. My daughter asks me every week, when is he going to draw a sloth? <laughs> well, a well, sloth, I'll have to remember to do that next time. Well, well. I don't think about that. Drawing a sloth is going to be some wild, wild stuff. <laughs> here. Boy, it's really lagging. See that? Yeah. Getting all that information plugged in.
I think Emperor's New Groove is the most underrated Disney animated movie. I think you might be right. It is very underrated. I think the top three most underrated for me is that, uh, Treasure Planet, and uh, Brother Bear. Well, I thank you, son. In fact, I actually watched the Emperor's New Groove uh, over the weekend. Oh, did you? Yeah, saw it on Netflix. I'm like, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, so now I'm going to set it to overlay. We're going to hit some highlights. Do you often struggle with uh, tightening up in your drawings? Is there ever a time when it's good to, to be tight? Do you often say, be loose? Oh yeah, you can, it depends on what it is that you're doing. But, um, you know, sometimes I get too tight. I'm not, I don't get too tight as often as anymore. I used to be really tight with my drawings. And uh, I find myself being maybe too loose sometimes now. I like I like drawing loose like like what I'm doing here. Maybe had a moment where you're like halfway through you're drawing and you're like ah this should this feels too tight. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah, don't forget Hunchback of Notre Dame. I haven't forgotten that one. But, what about it? Uh, being underrated. Oh, I thought I, it got really, good. I don't think it was underrated. I don't think it was that underrated. Yeah. I definitely think that, that was definitely pretty, one of the big... Uh, yeah, I, had, I thought it had pretty good, pretty good reviews, actually. Oh yeah, Journey to Atlantis. That was, an, that was another really underrated film as well I still have that that drawing book that drawing book journal that you gave me oh I yeah I still have it <laughs> from uh, when they gave us the, from the movie yeah we when they gave you all the free merchandise uh huh yeah cause uh there was a particular um there's a particular book that had a leather cover of the Atlantis Journal, but it wasn't it wasn't as detailed as from the film. It was just like leather printed or like leather in um what do they call it, like impressions. Uh-huh. Um of the of that same uh design. And it had the Atlantis A in the center, the whole nine yards and and that was, I think that was my first ever drawing book. Oh cool. And I drew the crap out of that out of that book from beginning to end but it was like back when I was what was it like I was like third fourth grade uh huh so what I'm doing now sorry I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to focus on the oh, lighting no. but what I'm doing now is adding a little bit of rim light from another light source off camera and I want it to be green like the the world, the forest that he comes from. Do you know Will Weston? I don't know Will Weston. Should I know Will Weston? I don't know who that is. I'd like to know Will Weston if I'm supposed to know him. As a seasoned animator and illustrator, what are the areas of improvements that you seek for yourself? Um, variety, breaking out of my old habits, you know, and, and I fall into, you know, in any number of different uh, habits, but, you know, I'm still always trying to learn you know what's what makes the world around us tick, and trying to find, you know, how do how do I portray those things that I haven't drawn yet? I know it's a weird it's a weird answer, but for, it's still just like 
I'm trying to broaden my horizons. Let me say it that way. Do you know Will Wheaton? Oh, that's the question that just came up. Oh. Oh, no, the other one was Will Weston. Yeah, Weston. This is uh, Wheat Wheaton. Uh, no, I do not know Will Wheaton. I know of him, if they were talking about the, the next generation Will Wheaton. Right, give him a ladybug as a sidekick. Oh, that's interesting. Or a pet crow from another person. It's like some sort of uh, like sidekick pet. I like how one person suggests a crow, then another person suggests a ladybug. Such a tiny little bug. I'm gonna make it square. That way I don't have to worry about the hands. <laughs> Fair enough. Put his face right in the middle. There we go. It looked like one of those portraits you see in the Royal Hall. The Royal Albert Hall. Hall. Will Weston is a layout artist. He worked on Home, in the, Home on the Range and other films. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that is awesome. Do you like the character design of Minions? I love the Minions. I wish I had thought of the Minions. That's one of the designs of all the characters in that in that series. Oh yeah. No, I love them. That whole series is just genius. Is uh, Steve Carell that voices uh, Gru, right? Yeah. <laughs> he does such a great job. He's fantastic. <laughs> Hi, guys. Have you ever been to Australia? If not, what would you sketch there? I would sketch anything. No, I haven't. Yes, I want to. I would sketch anything I could find. I would want to take a picture of a koala. Koala? A koala bear. That or a kangaroo. So we got a little... Got a little cool thing happening. I like the way he's feeling. What time is it? 2.35. We're doing all right. Let's go ahead and start... Uh, Every evil king deserves a minion. <laughs> I'm going to start working on the highlights. Yeah. And start working on top to get rid of some of the drawing layer. Do you find hands difficult to draw? Hands? Yes, I do. I always have. I struggle with drawing hands all the time. Is the green light layer set to overlay too? No, nope, it's just set to so right, it's its own regular paint layer. It's just that I've got it set um, from a value standpoint. I've got it set uh, pretty bright. And value, for those that you that don't know, value is your light and dark. Well, as a minion would say, banana. <laughs> Banana! He looks like the evil counterpart of Rafiq. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Mike Rivera asked, Do you know do you, uh, Mike Rivera? Asked, Do you know Mike Rivera? He's a great guy. <laughs> nope. But I'd sure like to meet Mike Rivera, Mike Rivera. <laughs> Would you consider to visit Egypt? Yes. Somebody else uh, comments a kakapoo, only in Australia and New Zealand, and they are beautiful. 
Oh yeah. Will he have a scepter? Something human found and jungle modified. Um, I wasn't planning on it only because I, I've only got limited time. But um, if I have time, I might throw something like that in there. <clears throat> Is it possible that you can propose a little contest starting from a little sketch you choose or you draw in order to see what people can do with all the with all the advices you had given in your live streams? That's a great idea. I'll have to get together with Nick on that and figure out how we would do that. Andy asks, do you ever study art that doesn't float your boat, Aaron, to see if you can get anything from it? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, I mean, I, there's a lot of art that I, I say that I like, but it's not my first choice. You know, contemporary art is something that I've studied, and, and um, you know, as far as you know, modern art and that sort of thing, I don't always... More often than not, I don't like it, or I don't. It doesn't uh, resonate with me. But some of the, you know, the intentions behind some of it do resonate. I just don't always think that it's valid. But that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. My opinion doesn't. You know, doesn't unvalidize it. Unvalid. Un 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 Devalidize it. <laughs> Invalidize. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> Who do you think is the most hardworking, the villain or the hero? And what? I don't know, just in general. <laughs> that's all. That's good. That's all the person asks. Who do you think is the most hardworking, the villain or the hero? Oh, that's it. That's that's a broad question. Depends on the villain and the hero. <laughs> Didn't the Monkey King from Asian lore have a staff of some sort? I'm sure he did. I'm just drawing him. I'm just drawing a different king, I guess. Now, I want to get some nice, bright fur in here. YouTube question. Please, Aaron, make more drawing on, on, on location videos. On location videos. Yeah. I can do that. Can you draw the skull, uh, the skull of a chimpanzee, very quick for us to understand the anatomy? Um, yeah, let me let me finish drawing this. The skull of a chimpanzee is very similar to to ours, right? I mean, it's uh. Do a dab, love from Scotland. 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 Scotland! Freedom! <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Jangling like Dick Van Dyke. I want to get really like electric blue eyes. If you gave him ginormous horns, he would resemble Krampus. He would now, wouldn't he? Krampus. Krampus. 
interesting question. Iron Man versus Batman. <laughs> Who would win? Shoot. I did that wrong. Um, I would say Iron Man. I would say the same. How do you tell a story through a single image or character design? Well, to look at uh, look at Norman Rockwell for that type of inspiration. He was the king of telling a story, a simple story be it, but a story through a single image. You know what we haven't done? Hmm. Saved. Saved. Dunstan. <laughs> what is it to be a son of Aaron? Um, constantly being asked questions like that. <laughs> 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 no, but it's, you know, don't really think it as differently as any other son with their, with their dad. No. So, real quick, for the person that asked about the chimpanzee skull, it's really, it's not much different than a human skull. You just got a few things that are going to change. I mean, think about the shape. You're going to have a cranium. They've got more of a brow. Okay. The nasal opening. Comes down like so. Cheekbones come around like so, like that. Okay, they've got bigger canines than we have. Like so, but the biggest difference is this. Now this, how far out this comes. So you have something that sits like that. That's the biggest difference. So let's get in here. Ready for another question? Sure. Uh, I see so many tips and lessons on the internet to help artists. Some some looks good and others look bad or all right. Uh, did you think it's better to learn from professionals or all tips are good to take? I don't think all tips are good to take at all. You know, I mean, there's a lot. It's like saying believe everything you read on the Internet. Just because it's on the Internet doesn't mean it's worth uh, knowing or believing. So I do think you need to scrutinize the... Uh, the quality of the education that you're looking at and for me that's um, you know you're gonna you'll start out being better if you're using professionals don't forget we oh yeah so that those are um, those are things I really you know, I really feel strongly about and also um, uh, while we're on the subject, we've got a new course from Tim Hodge, who is a professional. <laughs> speaking of professionals. Yeah, speaking <laughs> of professionals, Tim is a professional. And um, I try, that's the other thing too. If you look at the, uh, the people that we have on our website on creatureartteacher.com that are teaching um, outside of what I'm teaching, I, I bring in only people that I've worked with in the past, and uh, and I know their work and how great it is. So, um, 
that's something I feel really strongly about as well. So, speaking of Tim Hodge, we've got a brand new course on drawing cartoon animals with Tim Hodge, and it's very, very cool. So I'm just trying to, what I'm trying to do now is get a little bit of variation here in the skin tones and some of the reflected light. But uh, if you if uh, you go to creatureartteacher.com, uh, he's right on the front page, right on our front page, brand new course. You can pre-order it and uh, it's awesome. It's over five and a half hours of content and uh, and Tim's a, <laughs> he's a great teacher. He's uh, really enjoyable to watch. One of the things, uh, Tim and I were in Moscow together, and uh, this is how great Tim is. He, he uh, ran into some technical difficulties. Their projector kind of crapped out on him right while he was in the middle of his talk, and Tim never missed a beat, and he pulled out a handkerchief, and he goes, hey, how many of you guys want to see a, a magic trick? <laughs> I mean, just like that, really quick. And so he just he made this handkerchief disappear. And for 20 seconds, he had everyone focused on that and not on the problem that was at hand. It was all sleight of hand. And uh, matter of fact, it was part of his story course. Uh, you can get people to, you know, through story, get them to look and see and believe things that you tell them. Pretty cool. I'm going to make this pencil disappear. There, that feels pretty good. Coming out really nice. Me and my friends bought tickets for the Orlando trip. We can't wait. I think you'll. Uh, do you think you'll draw in one of our sketchbooks? How about I draw in all of your sketchbooks? Yes, oh. I will draw in all of your sketchbooks. Oh my! That's one of the benefits you'll get if you come to our. our program and I will not leave until everyone has a drawing that is guaranteed oh boy yep sorry Dustin <laughs> I just hope your arm can't handle that oh yeah we did one in Mexico and we had several hundred people lined up at the door. <laughs> oh my lord. Yeah, I was there, I think I was there signing autographs and um, drew, doing drawings for people longer than I actually did my lecture. Oh really? Yeah. And how long was the lecture? Several hours. <whistles> Rusty asks, what is the resolution? Uh, this is, I think, hold on, it's a good question. Um, Say what? Image size. This is 16 by six. Well, 16 by 17 uh, at 300 DPI. Can you draw Scrooge McDuck? No, I can't. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how. To, I've never drawn him. I'm sure I could if I got the model sheet. We can figure it out. <laughs> Aaron, I will I'll draw on every single sketchbook and Dustin has to scan them all. Yeah. <laughs> no If I had to draw if I had to scan every single person's sketchbook after getting the sketch, that's gonna take some time. Yeah. That it would. having some fun with this one. I must say. I must say. Hey. Lauren asks, I'll be with you at Peckforton. Same thing there? Yep, same thing there. Erica Bay writes, I'm counting down the days until Orlando. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see you guys. Erica Bay. Are you bringing Frankie? 
I hope you're ringing Frankie. We're going to have some fun. Yeah, that's going to be a really good time. And how many days is it? Two? Three days? It's two days. Two days. Yeah. What kind of voice would you give the Monkey King? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I do. Uh, <laughs> Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> you do that so well. Extreme. That sounds extremely racist to certain people. If so, I do apologize. <laughs> but it's from a. Um, like a animated trio uh, a YouTuber group called Flash Kids and they made a uh, s small series of uh, animation skits called uh, Console Wars and that was like the representation of PlayStation <laughs> <laughs> seeing Xbox and saying Microsoft day <laughs> <laughs> uh, what species of tiger is Raja? From Aladdin. Uh, you know, I, I, I never thought of uh, Raja as a specific uh, subspecies. Uh, I um, I just generalized the uh, just generalized them. Will Dustin be making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for lunch at the seminar? No, but Publix will. <laughs> I'm going to get myself some Wendy's. There we go. I'm going to go in with a little bit more shadow. Question. When working over the sketch layer, how are you deciding the colors to use? Are you sim sampling from other, uh, from the existing colors? Yes, very often I am. That was a good catch. Very often I am. Are you, are you going to make a keyframe illustration course someday? I'm not talking about keyframe and animation, but keyframe illustrations for movies. That would be awesome. Um, I'm not sure I understand what that is. Maybe like storyboarding? If it's storyboarding, then yeah, we've already got some storyboarding courses. We plan on having a, a little bit more. So I'm just checking out this here. Twitch question. What are we naming this magnificent king? Well, Dustin? Hmm? The what name? Are, yeah, what are we naming him? I, I, I don't know. Come up with something, man. Um, Murray. Murray. King Murray. <laughs> from, from henceforth you shall be known as Murray. <laughs> <laughs> you shall be known as Murray. <laughs> he looks like Ben Kingsley's voice would come uh, out of that face. I can see that. Ben Kingsley. Played Gandhi. Oh, that Ben Kingsley. Yeah, the only one. Yes. Although at the same time, um, I'm thinking, um, uh, Ian McKinnon. Ian McKellen. Oh yeah. Gandalf. Yeah.
I think David Attenborough should have a character drawn of himself by you. That would be epic. YouTube question. Does that right eat look a little funny? Screen right? Uh, I'm sure it does. I'm, I'll, I'll fix it. It looks a little funky. I agree. It's a little too straight at us. Plus, I got to get some better highlights on it. Have you ever had the fried catfish from Publix? Ah, uh, yes. Your thoughts on the fried catfish? It's delicious. It's delicious. It's quite delicious. Yeah. It's quite delicious. <laughs> Hi, uh, Aaron. Hey. Absolutely in love with your brushes in Photoshop and heard a rumor they'll be available for Procreate. Is this true? Well, we're working on it. Hopefully, yes. We are working on it. Mary says, I vote for King Henry the Ape. I like it. I like it. No, I gotta start using it. Now that I mentioned Ian McKellen, so I put Dustin Gandalf impression. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> I can't do a good Ian McKellen. Run, you fools! That's a good one. I'm just dry brushing, trying to get a little rougher. Look here. There we go. I like that. Matt asks, could you show us how to make the crown look metal, please? I love your work. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm really just going to really highlight the heck out of it to make it feel shiny. But it's really, uh, oops, here we go. And because I've basically kept the same style of this loose style throughout, that's what I'm going to have to keep. So really, I'm just loosely going to go in and hit some of these edges that would be catching light. Nice and nice and shiny. Like so. I was thinking before King Walken, like Crystal Walken, who voiced King Louie from Disney live action Jungle Book. Uh -huh. What's your opinion on Chris, uh, Chris Walken, King Louie? <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool, but I also thought it was really funny that Mowgli, when he was picking up all the the different t things that were on the floor, well, the, last, the last thing he picked up before Christopher Walken came out was a cowbell. Like before I, I get fire, <laughs> what I need first is a cowbell. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty genius that he did that. Uh, you married events of this in the past. What makes a great portfolio? And is it more about uh, the quantity or quality? Well, obviously, it's always going to be quality. No one cares about a lot of junk, right? So it's got to be quality. But, um,. Uh, and you don't want too much in there. You're gonna, you don't want to bore the person looking at your portfolio. And put, start with your best work, best work forward. You know, don't save it. People that think they, you know, want to save their best work for later, a lot of times they don't get their work looked at because uh, they they screwed the pooch and uh, ended up, you know, putting that that good work later on and the person got 
bored looking at the bad work and never made it to the good work. So, um, that's pretty much it. You know, just put the best work in, and don't put student work in there. Don't ever do that. You know, or, or if you have good student work, then that's great. But you really want, you know, if you're, like for instance, if you're doing animation, don't go in there and put an animation walk cycle in there. No one cares about walk cycles, especially if you're going in for an animation job. They're going to assume that you know how to do a walk cycle. They want see they want to see character driven animation. So do that. So now I'm going through and tightening up. You got cowbell in there. Cowbell. All hail King Murray. I think this is King Murray. Uh, Robert says, please make this a t-shirt. <laughs> That's a good idea. And then, uh, what is the best place you've ever traveled? Um, always, always. My favorite place has always been Kenya. The Masai Mara. That's my favorite place in the world. To see and hear and experience the wildlife there. The elephants, the lions, the leopards, the zebras, the giraffes the hippos, everything. It's so um, primal and magical and uh, it's it's like nothing you've ever experienced unless you've been there. And uh, Nick and I are going to be there in October. And I also love, you know, domestically here in the United States, I love Yellowstone National Park and Yellowstone National, National Park. Park. I was just yeah. going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're going to be going uh, to Africa with our good friend Manny Carrasco and uh, a few other of our, of our friends. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. Taylor asks, how did you meet Vedanta? <laughs> I met Vedanta on Facebook. This is the gift that... Uh, and Vedanta is actually Nick's sister-in-law. But I didn't know it at the time. It was kind of weird. Speaking of Nick, you see the uh, gift that he... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, the cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vedanta and I met on Facebook, and we just started talking and she came down for my birthday and we hit it off and the rest as they say is history do you ever turn your digital paintings into vector based images so that you can print it print it on merch no no I, uh, I don't really I don't find I need to I can still print it on merchandise like this Have you ever visited Finland? No, I want to go to Finland. I would love, love, love to go to Finland. You and me both. Basically, anywhere in Europe, I would love, I would love to uh, tag along in. The T-shirt with King Murray should say, "Did you put away the? Did you put your shopping cart away? Yeah, put away your shopping cart. <laughs> did you?" Put away your shopping cart. <laughs> there, that's feeling pretty good. Is that an expedition art trip? Oh, Taylor, that's from uh, what you were mentioning earlier. Yes, for Africa? I believe for Africa, yes. Yes, that is for expedition art. They're doing a. Uh, and also, the Mon the Montana uh, trip was a uh, art expedition, right? Yes. Yes, sir. It's the same crew tag along for Africa, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> right, I hear a dog go in the background. What's that? I hear a dog go in the background. A dog. Yeah. A dog. A dog. Oh, you? No, Achilles. Achilles? Uh, Achilles was back there. 
don't know. So we're getting, I think we're getting close to the end for this one. Any plans for visiting Slovakia? No, I've never, no. We've never had a request for Slovakia. It could be cool. I'm not against Slovakia. Have you ever been to the Amazon? That's one of my top, top, tip top trips I want to do that I've never done. So I'm trying to get a little bit more character in his hair. There we go. That feels pretty good. Oh, wait, it's the king of the yetis. Yeah, he he's does feel white. kind of yeti-ish, doesn't he? Yeah. I like that. the fact he's all white. The Yeti King. <laughs> Murray, the Yeti King. <laughs> Yay. All hail Murray. <laughs> like, hey guys, I'm the Yeti King. You can call me Murray. see you take on the Lion Prince John from the animated Robin Hood movie. You know, the lion that sucks his thumb? Yeah. Mommy! That'll be a really fun one to see. Oh, yeah. He'd be fun to animate. This here is King Kong's grand grand grandfather. <laughs> you mean great great you mean the great great grandfather? Yeah. YouTube question. Have you been to Australia and Mr. Blaze? Have you been in Australia? No, I've never been to Australia. I want to go very, very bad. You and me both. Very, very bad. You and me both night. Put some prawns on the bobbin. Have you seen a recent documentary about the British Museum of Natural History called Museum Alive? It's awesome. No, I have not. Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. There we go. Now I'm feeling like we're getting somewhere on this. <laughs> but when I did, I put away 11 in a lift. In Scotland. <laughs> there. Just going to brighten this up a little bit in here. Dustin in what? Wonderland. Why am I in Wonderland? Mustard? Don't be <laughs> silly. YouTube question. If you desaturate the green a bit, uh, would it not pop more? It might. Actually, if I, ta if I darken it more, it might pop. But I, I like having the saturation. Uh, will you do a course on primates this year? Actually, that's a great idea. We've had that question before, and... Um, we might do that. Let me, let me desaturate, see what we got. Nick, do the thing. Just for kicks and shiggles. I kind of like that, actually. Do you like that? Desaturated? I like that. Good suggestion, person. It, it's too tiny to tell. Oh. <laughs> well, what's, what screen do you have? Oh. How's that? Yeah. I like it desaturated like that. That's kind of cool. Awesome. Spread. I'm going to do a little, uh, oh, Michael, do a couple little tricks here. Do this and this. And On the topic of Disney's Robin Hood, I think you would also paint a phenomenal little job. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. 
Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. You got it. Uh -uh. Alright, so one thing I want to do is a little tilt shift. Where is it? Oh, would Blur you, Gallery. Would you be sad if I wanted to put this on my wall with a golden frame? Uh, no. Why would you be sad? Honestly, I think you would be happy to see it on somebody's wall, wouldn't you? Yeah. I would. Just want to blur out that front. Maybe a little less. There we go. Are we getting a concept art course someday? Yes, we've got that question a lot, and Nick and I have talked about it. We are going to do that. Zoom in, Dustin. Or Nick says, oh, okay, hold on. There we go. I just wanted to give him a little blurriness in the foreground to give it a little depth. A little depth of field? Yeah. This would be fun to lay textures over at this, at this stage. But I think that's kind of cool. Here I am going back to my, the same one I always use. My little forest creature too, yeah. Grunge. It's always the grunge. <laughs> it's, it's, Scott says, Dustin gets a point. That song is now stuck in, going to be stuck in my head the rest of the day. It's already <laughs> stuck in my head. Hey, Mr. Blaze, would it be better to invest in a drawing tablet when animating characters or continue practicing animation on paper? I think it's worth investing in a tablet because that's, that's really the wave of the future. Personally, I think it's much better. Much better. If I can squash all this together... I like having a little texture on there, a little grunge. You know, see the grunge on there? On death? Yeah. Just a Is little. it the hamster dance song, the so the same song but sped up? I have no idea. I can see that. <laughs> Try, no, you, I'm trying to remember that hamster song. <laughs> yes, I love it. If, yeah, the pattern the patterning of the hamster song is very similar to that of that the Robin Hood chicken song or rooster song, but extremely sped up. I don't know, it's a possibility. Amy Bain writes, I learned more about animation in one of Aaron's tutorials than I did three years in my animation degree. Oh, thank you. That's our, that's our goal, get you guys learning. What do you think about uh, the Hercules Disney movie? I love the songs and the overall look. Oh yeah, I think it's great. You liked it too, didn't you? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Scott says, yes, that song is sampled in the Hamster Dance song. Aha. Thank you. I'm just adding little bits of light.
Yeah, that's right. Brother Bear is my go-to soundtrack when I draw. I draw so much better with, with those songs on. Oh, yeah? That's cool. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's cool. It is. <laughs> A display tablet versus non-display tablet. I think display tablet's better. That's my, that's my choice. Such as your Cintiq. Yes. Pen display. Which showing your setup now. Very nice. What did you guys think of Ro Rover Dangerfield? All dogs go to heaven and little little Nemo in Slumberland. Uh, I've never seen any of them except All Dogs Go to Heaven. And I loved all, go all Dogs Go to Heaven. I love All Dogs Go to Heaven. And I remember seeing little Nemo in Slumberland. The animation for that was was really crazy good. Rover Dangerfield. There, now we got a nice little ruby. Looks like he's got nice ruby happening there. Is Rover Dangerfield the name of a movie or name of the artist? No, it was the name of the movie. Rover Dangerfield. It was Rodney Dangerfield that did the voice. It was a gimmick. Oh! That Rover Dangerfield. Yeah, I never watched that. <laughs> All right. So now we got that. Have I ever watched the animated Godzilla cartoon show? I never watched that, though. Are you talking about the one that was based off of the American Godzilla from that, from that era? Um, so, yeah, I never... I only watched like one or two episodes and that was about it. And I really saw the um the American made Godzilla from back from back then, um, as an actual Godzilla film. How long have you owned your Cintiq? Did you use First, uh, at first a regular tablet, or went straight ahead to the to a display tablet. I've always had a display tablet. For twelve years, I've used display tablets. There we go. So there he is. There's our Monkey King. Bum, bum, bum. Look, I'm looking at you. <laughs> You're looking into my soul. <laughs> so there he is. There's our monkey king. That was fun to draw. Do you call yourself a Disney artist or an Aaron artist? <laughs> an Aaron artist. Disney was only part of my history. Hey, Ari, did you ever think of going to Poland? Sure. While we don't have the most breathtaking animals, we do have amazing landscapes. I know you do. And yes, we have talked about going to Poland. There's not too many countries out there that we haven't talked about going to. So it's signed, sealed, delivered. There's our Monkey King. There's a few American Godzilla animations, huh? The Monkey King. Boom.
like the last time with the Soviet bear uh, at the end of the live stream, can you show us uh, what you have on oh. each layer? Yes. So, first of all, I've... Uh, it's very, very, very tiny. Can you... Yes, I'm going to blow that up. So, I've brightened up. I've flattened everything down to one layer except for the grunge. There's the grunge right there. So, there's grunge. I'll take the grunge off, and there's that. And um, also, I, um, I, uh, when I compressed everything down to one layer, I saturated it. So, uh, first of all, there I brightened it right there. And then I have added to the jewels right there. And then there's the saturation, or, or desaturation. There's the, the uh, secondary light going away. Then there's some of the extra hair and reflected light going away. Some of the shadows going away. More of the hair going away. There's extra lighting going off. That's some lighting on the eye. There's more lighting going away there. More shadows. More shadows going away there. Those are our initial shadows. And then turn away the background shadows, the background color, the local color. Take away the refined drawing or left with our, our initial scribble that we did. And if I bring that all the way up, you can see through that. That's our initial scribble that we start with. So don't be afraid. You can see, don't be afraid to start with something that's really messy because you can refine it. That's what we did. So there's our our refined drawing. There's our local color. Here's our background color. Right there. Is that the one? Yeah. Oh, right there. There's our background color. There's our shadows. Deeper shadows some brighter lights, some stuff on the eye, working out all over the top of the painting, more fur, more shadows, more fur again, working within those shadows, secondary light. And once I got that, I blurred the foreground, added a bit of uh, rendering to the uh, jewels, and brightened him up. I might knock that back a little bit. Just a touch. Oops, no, not that one. This one. Let's knock that back a little bit. There we go. And then a little grunge on top. And that's how we ended up with this image. Do you have a storyboard course? Yes, we do. Go to CreatureArtTeacher.com. We've got a fantastic storyboard course from none other than Lyndon Ruddy. He's fantastic. So there we go. The Monkey King. And uh, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. So I wasn't here from the start. How long did it take you uh, to draw the refined sketch without color? Uh, I don't know. What did that take? About 30 minutes? 40 minutes? Give or take. Yeah, yeah. That's you, you don't know. You just saying yeah. Just give or take. I was looking at the questions. <laughs> it take about thirty minutes. So anyway, I there we go. I was doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rotate it. Let's see how it looks on rotation. Come on, baby, rotate. There we go. I was about to say, I was like, it, it looks the same. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Maybe a little bit of. Just a little bit of. A little what? Texture over that uh, ear. A little bit of uh uh, and a little bit of uh uh. There's great big oomph. Not waiting there, right? 
<laughs> Lemony. Well, there we go. Oh, refreshing drink. All right. Well, there we go. So once again, also, I want you guys to remember, we got our master class coming up August, in August. It's going to be awesome. August 3rd and 4th. Let me rotate this around. August 3rd and 4th is going to be our master class. And um, right here in Orlando, in person, we are really, really looking forward to it. And uh, I think you guys... We'll have a really great time. Um, I'm going to be talking about career highlights, talking about character design, creature design, digital painting, all kinds of stuff. Eight hours a day we're going to be together. So get ready to spend some time together and um, uh, check it out. It's at creatureartteacher.com backslash Orlando 2019. <coughs> we're going to have a really good time um, uh, and like I said it's our first master class so uh, we're kind of going all out on this one and uh, we'd really love to see you guys there and um, uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun it's at the uh, 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 repertory theater in Orlando uh, which is a great venue great playhouse and um, we hope uh, hope you guys make it. Sorry, I'm trying to get all the uh, get all the stuff figured out here. Also, if um, if you're a student and a uh, or a teacher, um, if you get tickets, you're going to get up to fifty dollars off of the two day uh, pass. So go check that out. Um, we really really would love to see you guys. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. That's it. We got a we got a Monkey King. The Monkey King was fun. I am the Monkey King. I am the Monkey King. But I am the Monkey King. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys had fun. Go out there, put some beauty back into the world. Do one nice thing if you can. Just, you know, every little bit helps. Even putting your shopping cart away. That's my whole reasoning behind that. <laughs> but help somebody out. Um, we, our world needs it. And so be nice. Put good karma into the world and you won't regret it. Until next week. Actually, we'll be back on Thursday. I will see you on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Take it away, Dustin. Oh, I'm I'm blanked out. <laughs> oh, but, of uh, course you are. Thank you guys yes. so much for watching, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show, and uh, be good to one another. And as always, from my end, Cowboy Bebop. See you later, guys. <laughs>